finally have a new comic haul for you guys. Stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Jesse here with JLS Comics. Welcome back to another video and yet another haul. This is going to be for early April 2016. I got some new issues and a couple back issues to show you. Uh, it's a couple weeks worth of books, so some of these you'll have seen. Um, a couple interesting stories here too. I actually went to the shop just now and um, on the way back I caught in this like really, well, it wasn't really raining hard, but there was a lot of lightning and the the alert went off on the phone and the wind was blowing and you could see the the big you know cloud up there and it, it looked pretty intense and the lightning it wasn't like the heat lightning there was a lot of lightning like coming down and striking and it looked really close so um it was, it was pretty kind of exciting actually so just thought i'd share that with you guys that was my journey back from the local comic shop um all right so comics um this is uh adventures of superman number 596 and um, there's an interesting reason that I picked this up. It wasn't very expensive at all. Um, kind of ties into September 11th. So September 11th, 2001, that is. We all know what happened on that day. Um, you know, a day that will forever live in infamy. Infamy, excuse me. I never forget that. Um, and the book that most people think of that's sort of tied to that in, in comics is Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, it's number 36, the black cover. It's a memorial issue. Um, but interestingly enough, this book here uh, also is tied to it. Um, it's a less known book. Um, September 11th, obviously, um, is that day. But the night, very next day, that was a Tuesday. September 12th, 2001, was a Wednesday. It was a uh, new comic Wednesday, of course. But because of what had happened the day before, a lot of uh, shops were... They didn't get their, their shipments. Everything around the country just sort of ground to a halt and stopped. But some of the shops did get books. And some of them had this book on the shelves um, on that day, the very next day. And, you know, it was written, obviously, um, you know, months uh, in advance. You know, they, they planned the stories out. But imagine either being in New York or seeing the news and, you know, just experiencing what was going on in the world. And then, you know, trying to have a little bit of normalcy and you go to your shop and you get your books and you pick up your Superman and you see the very next day in a book you pick it up and you cruise through and I'm looking for it here guys it's towards the beginning isn't it you cruise through September 12th and you come up and you see that, okay? Very pr provocative imagery. Now imagine picking that up the day after what happened. Um, because of that, because of that image, that picture there, um, DC issued a, 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 a message to shop saying you can send those back if you want, if your customers are not happy with that unfortunate coincidence, um, you can send them back. But a lot of shops didn't, of course. Um, just interesting story there, interesting connection to some American history. So that is Adventures of Superman, number 596. Um, another one that started up, this was something that I loved as a, a youngster, was X-Men 92. Not only the book, but the show. Um, we had a great series there with, um, with Secret Wars, um, and I guess it was good enough. People liked it enough that we now have an ongoing which is this uh, regular cover here. Um, X-Men 92, number one. They're back. The most famous mutants of them all. And then we got um, number two already. And I believe that's the first appearance there for this dude, Alpha Red, on the cover. Haven't read it, of course. Just picked it up today. So looking forward to that. Um, that's X-Men 92, number one and two. Next, I have Spider-Man, number three. This is Bendis, Pacelli, and Ponsor. Um, that's a cool cover, you know, <laughs> that's something that would happen. They're chilling on the bridge there, um, so that's neat. And uh, just, you know, being uh, the youthful superheroes that they are. Um, so this has been a really great story. I like this fresh take on it. You know, we got um, Slot has been going on for quite a while with the story, um, so it's cool seeing a Bendis take on Spider-Man versus their, 
what we've had with slot for like a decade now. This is number eight for all new, all different Avengers. This is part of a standoff. Um, this has been a really great story. I recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Um, it's doing pretty well um, in terms of you know the story. Art's been great. Um, this is Mark Wade here. And we have part four of Amazing Grace. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 1.4. Um, and I don't really know why they're so compelled to do this with <laughs> Spider-Man. I don't... Come on now, get, close your legs, Spider-Man. Anyways, Invincible Iron Man, this is number eight. We're on the road to Civil War, so that's pretty exciting. Civil War Part Two is coming up. Um, there's some cool variants for that Civil War that look like uh, old like boxing posters. I'm looking forward to checking those out. Another one that I've really been liking here is Old Man Logan, number four. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, that's a really cool cover, by the way. Um, I believe this is a, a mini. It's not going to be an ongoing, and it might stop at, like, five or something. But if that's wrong, please let me know down below, um, and I would be happy. I like the story a lot, so I want it to be an ongoing. So please, if it is, let me know and make me happy. And, yes, we have next Gwenpool. Excuse me. The unbelievable Gwenpool number one. This is a regular cover here, um, and it's uh, Christopher Hastings, I believe. He's uh, he's done some of the Deadpool stuff too, some of the some of the artwork on that. But um, you know what? Over here, one of those characters that's sort of divisive these days. But I happen to like this character. I like a lot of the the uh, the Deadpool related characters, whether it's Lady Deadpool, or the Headpool, or the Kidpool, or the Dogpool, or the whatever pool, um, Gwen pool, um, cool character. So I'm looking to see what they have to uh, bring to the table with her, right? Unbelievable Gwen pool, number one. This next one here, uh, should have come out, uh, in December before the movie, Star Wars C-3PO, and it would have told us why the hell in the movie he had that famous red arm. Um, what's the cool, I like, uh, the splash page here. Boom, the Phantom Limb. It's cool, right? Came out, it was very late, but I'm glad I have it now. So, there you go, Star Wars C-3PO. I think this is a one-shot, too, so there you go. Another one, uh, I like the character. I'm hoping uh, Jeff Lemire does a good job with it. Moon Knight number one. You know, with Lemire, I either love him or hate him. I hope this is one of those love him. Because he's writing a character that I do like. And I did not read the last volume. However, I have read many of the previous volumes. And there are quite a few. Um, and then this is already at number 10, right? We were just talking about Spider-Man um, and Dan Slott. Here he is. Oh, glare, glare, glare. All right, so Spider-Man number 10. We're into the double digits now. So there you go. He's on the subway. And he's fighting the uh, Zodiac dude okay another one that's close to double digits is deadpool number 10 he's going after Sabretooth there so there we go all right now this one is another one i've really been looking forward to black panther number one this is uh time the hazy coats uh award-winning writer uh first time on the book um another character that i like quite a bit that i think has not um had his time as much as he should and of course we have Brian Stelfreeze here so can't beat that should be a very excellent combo and from what I've heard um, Undisputed Frost uh, being one of them it's an excellent story it's done a lot with the book I guess maybe it could have split it up a little bit but um, I'll, I'll see here um, looking forward to it okay another one I was toying whether I should get both of the covers or not I ended up getting just the one this is a six part mini um, Harley Quinn, Gang of Harleys, and I think after Rebirth, we're getting something more with this. Um, I wish I knew offhand, but I don't. Um, anyways, the, um, the variant had this same thing underneath, and then it had the, it had the, the, um, type of paper that they were using for the, um, the coloring book ones with the picture frame, and you could draw on it, um, and then this was underneath, so it was like double, double covered, um, but I ended up just getting the one. 
And then the next one, I seen it, um, and you know what? A lot of people picked it up. Um, I ended up getting this cover for Empress number one. Um, I just really wanted to check it out. I, I like Mark Millar and uh, Stuart Immelman. Um, Von Grau Badger is on this as well. Um, I've heard good things about it, so um, definitely want to check it out. It's not on the pull list. Um, it's just one of those grabs, shelf grabs. Um, but hopefully it's good. So there you go, Empress number one. Okay. Next we have Spider Gwen. This is part of the Spider Women. Um, this is part two, I guess, of the Spider Women um, story arc. That's going through the the Spider books, the female Spider books. Um, and I do have the J. Scott Campbell on route from Midtown, um, but I did get uh, the part one for Spider Women Alpha, the J. Scott Campbell. Um, I did pre-order all four of the connecting covers. So um, by the end of April, I'll, I'll have all four, and I can show you the picture. But, um, you know, I'd go check out uh, like my Facebook or something, because I showed a picture of how they look with all four together. It's a neat, neat uh, image. Um, and I got, uh, let's see here. That is a great Jim Lee artwork of Harley Quinn, uh, Suicide Squad. Um, there's a couple others. There was a... a black and white for this and then there was a uh, chibi sort of version of it um, but I, I opted for this one Jim Lee on the cover there really cool and that's a one shot so there we go okay another one actually this is a couple of back issues three of them okay Deadpool number two that's from volume one got a good price on that so I'm, I'm piecing together that uh, that first volume all that Joe Kelly stuff. Okay. It's from 1997. I have any number one, and then I have most of the single digit issues after that. This was free, actually. I got this, uh, I won this off of Instagram. There was a giveaway. A uh, very nice guy on there, um, you know, saying, uh, give him a shout out, a repost, and um, you know what? If you do it in time, you get a free book. And lo and behold, I ended up getting this. So that's pretty cool. It's Spider Man Quality of Life. And uh, I didn't really know much about it. Um, interesting. Um, and it has this sort of artwork inside. It's like very, um, very computerized animation, you know, digital artwork. Um, and it's a Greg Rucker story, so I like Greg Rucker. Um, next one I got here, and I'm piecing these together, not so much for the story, but really I love Adam Hughes' artwork. And that's an Adam Hughes cover. So I'm going to be getting... Uh, these as I find them, as they come to me, it's the Catwoman, um, Adam Hughes covers. And then last but not least is another unbelievable Gwenpool. There was quite a few of the uh, variants for it, uh, the, the um, Scotty Young and everything. But um, I opted for the 1 in 25 Herrera variant. I just think that is a really awesome cover with the motorcycle and the swords. As soon as I saw it, there's a 1 in 50 as well that I thought was really cool. But um, I said, you know what? I like this one better. Had to get it. I've been looking forward to it for a couple months. So super happy to have it in my shop. Um, had it in my box for me. And um, there you go. I know that um, Don Comic Book Junkie got this as well. So shout out to you. That's my 1 in 25, bro. Um, Don Comic Book Junkie. All right, so that's what I got for you. That's enough. Some new issues, some back issues, and um, I'll see you guys on Sunday for my how-to. That'll be uh, part three of that, so looking forward to showing you guys that or talking to you guys with that. Um, but uh, like, sub, comments down below. Uh, let me know about that old man, Logan, um, and uh, I will see you guys in the near future. This is Jesse with JLS Comics, and peace.